Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Diddy Combs has been celebrated in the hip hop community as a multi platinum artist, an entrepreneur, and mogul, but his image is changing. As last week, his homes were raided by a joint task force connected to allegations of sex trafficking and sex assault. All right, in this week's episode of Street Soldiers, Lisa Evers finds out the details of the raid and what may be next for the hip hop mogul. For sure, the civil lawsuits accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault, sex trafficking, and other offenses are shocking and disturbing. Months after the claims were filed, some still wanted to believe the motive was money, not justice. But on March 25th, federal raids on his Los Angeles and Miami homes changed everything. Combs continues to categorically deny all the accusations, but the feds for the first time confirmed a criminal investigation is underway. It's a game changer because now the stakes are much higher and his very freedom could be on the line. Man, breaking news, man, breaking news, man. We're hearing the stories is coming in quick, man. Um, Diddy has been uh, arrested and taken into federal custody, according to TMZ. Uh, it's crazy, man. Um, uh, they feel like they got enough on him now. Evidently, something's come back up. I'm going to read a little bit of it. It says... Uh, uh, TMZ reported this. It said arrested and taken into federal custody uh, in New York. Um, it says uh, at 7.13 p.m., pretty much 7.13 p.m., a law enforcement source tells TMZ the arrest was scheduled for Tuesday, but something happened that caused the feds to move in a day earlier. It says Diddy was just arrested and taken into federal custody in New York Monday night, TMZ has learned. Sources tell TMZ... Homeland Security swooped into Midtown Hotel late Monday where Diddy was staying and they arrested him. We have unconfirmed reports the feds are searching his hotel room. What Diddy, we're, to, we're told Diddy was taken to the FBI field office in Manhattan. Um, it appears the actions was taken in connection with the ongoing criminal investigation into alleged sexual trafficking and uh, other offenses that led to search warrants being issued and executed Diddy's home in Beverly Hills and in Miami. Um, Diddy's attorney, Mark Angnafolio, tells uh, TMZ, we are disappointed with the decision to pursue that we, we believe what we believe is uh, unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man. He's a loving family man and a proven uh, philanthropist who has spent his last 30 years building an empire, adoring children, and working to uplift the black community, guys. So it looked like they've taken him into custody. Look like they uh, pretty much uh, feel like they got something that they want to uh, talk with him about. There is more. You can find that on TMZ. Uh, this here is something that is all, it is happening in real time, and it has happened today. Guys, they were going to arrest him tomorrow, but they saying now, hey, it's going down today. So I just, you know, news you can use, man. Boss Talk 101 man. OG Pyru, I got him on the phone. I had to get him on this one because he was the first one that really talked about this with me. So I had to talk back at him. OG, you there? Man, this is something. Man, what you talk? I said it ain't so. Yeah, man, they finally got him, man. Swooped him up, man. Swooped him up man, like I a... Never, I, I didn't never think they was going to rest uh, uh, the, the master of sloppy seconds. I've been wrong two times before in my life. <laughs> I thought Hitler was going to win the war. And I thought it would never be another Lunar New Year. And now they done arrested Diddy. Man, look at here. Man. This is this crazy. This that means everybody vulnerable. They right now, everybody, it, 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 it's, nobody got an ex, everybody got an expiration date. So we don't know who else may be uh, involved in this whole deal. Uh, they're fishing for something. Evidently, they got something. They wouldn't just arrested him, right? Something they got. But I, I'm going I'm to tell you this for sure, Boss Talk. In the morning, Yosemite Sam gonna say he got a call at seven thirty. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! <laughs> you know he gonna say that he got the call. They called him at seven thirty in the morning. That an FBI agent. I know he got the call. He get all the calls. Wow! So you think that? So you think Wag One Hundred gonna get a call on this one? 
gonna he, he gonna tomorrow he gonna say that he got the call or the same way he said about Jay Prince that called at seven thirty in the morning. This Nick girl gets more calls. Man, I seen it on TMZ. Man, it just happened like thirty minutes ago. Um, man, that's I, I'm I, I'm out here in Babylon. We ain't got time to watch TMZ. We got other things going. But I would never now. That's a bet I would have lost because I didn't ever think it was going. Oh, really arrest Puffy. Well, evidently it's something that they got. It's something that they got this critical uh, evidence that they're wanting to try to uh, uh, bring charges against him on, else they wouldn't have done that. They, they, there's well, something they that they found. They don't, have to, they don't have to have no charges. They just stop him right now. And um, they, once they lock him up, in public opinion, the Negroes is going to convict him. Wow, yeah, I think they've already done a good job at that, you know. Yeah, so, what, just, just run me down through there what you think happens uh, from your experience, like when, when you see somebody of this caliber uh, get arrested and then taken in after an investigation that we've seen months ago that happened with Homeland Security. Just give me a rundown on what you think. Well, I mean, we, we got a track record with Bill Cosby, with, with R. Kelly. You you know how it goes with them. And, and, and then they start the character assassination. Then they go to the record company. They start banning stuff. They hold them. And they just wear them down. So once they got him in custody, it's pretty much over. He ain't, he ain't going to get a bail. That's for sure. Wow. You think they ain't going to give him a bail? I mean, uh, man, you know, I, I, I didn't think he was going to get arrested. But now that he's arrested, I don't think they're going to give. It's getting ready to go to public opinion. And now you're getting all these people that's coming out the woodwork. They get, you know, what did you just tell me? That some dude just got an $80 million, a hundred and some million dollars for a case. In yes. Yes. So uh, a, a man in the penitentiary got a, 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 a got a case on him. As an uh, active, in the, whenever they give you a, a, a an award and you in jail, bro, yo, yo, you ain't got no juice. Wow, and you know when you look at just the way that uh, Diddy, you know, he has children. He has a, a, a two them twin girls. They're young. I believe they went to prom. I don't know if they even graduated yet. Um, you know, the, the, these things that's happening to him right now because the the kids had never went through anything. I know this got to be something that this, them girls, they lost their mother, so they really, now they about to lose their dad as well, you know? Yeah, but let I me mean, see, that happened to all of us, and, and one, not not me per se, you know, but in in, in the hood, you know, black families, uh, Woody was just talking about when he lost his mother and had 10 children in a two-bedroom house. Well, they father in jail, but they still going to be rich. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely going to still be rich, you know. It's, so, yeah, you know that, that you know, money heals everything for Nick Rose. Wow. So, man, like, you think he, you so you don't think they'll even give him a bail? He, he won't even get the bail out of jail? Oh, no, he's he black. He's a flight risk. Wow. And and when you look at just Diddy and, and I mean, even if he was, if he's sent up the river, it'll be some luxury country club if he can handle that, right? Oh, shoot. If, if, if he gets set up in the federal pit, they're going to send him to Levensworth like they did. Man, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't going to no luxury hotel. He getting ready to have, he going to Luxembourg. He going to, I mean, Lewisburg. He going to Three Rivers. He, he going through the trolley. Damn. Man, I tried to give him some hope, man. You ain't this ain't looking too good for him, according to you. So him, so you telling me, you you telling me him and Keefe D gonna be locked up together? Man, Keefe D ain't gonna be locked up tight as hell. Man, that's shoot, man. That man, see, that that's the worst worst thing about uh, these sambos. Can I say sambo? Yeah. Okay, so these sambo. He, he, all the money he had, he should have stayed out the country. What did he bring his ass back to New York for? What was he trying to prove? I don't even know. I don't even know why he would even. I mean, if, and you in a hotel, and why wasn't he in? Uh, uh, and they say they and they say they searched the hotel. You know, he and like everybody knowing. He in New York. He was, he was dying to go to prison. Wow. Man, thank you, man. Hey, guys, get in the comments. Let us know what you think about Diddy being arrested. Guys, uh, let us know what you think. Tell us what you, what you, do you feel like he'll be able to get out or do you think, let like OG Pyru? Me, but, 
Let's do a GoFundMe for Diddy. Do a GoFundMe for Diddy, my butt, man. This dude's rich, man. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101. This has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 Reviews, man, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.